It can be a thing of beauty watching a perfectly crafted series of components working together to complete a task. So let's prepare to witness extraordinary feats of power, adaptability, and creativity as we take a look at the top 15 most satisfying machines. Number 15, Komatsu 901TX. Despite ongoing attempts to significantly reduce deforestation, there's no avoiding the fact that wood is still a highly valued commodity and it's needed for a range of different needs. Rather than simply laying waste to entire regions of forest, however, companies are now able to surgically remove all the weaker and less established trees to not only harvest the wood, but to allow the remaining forest to thrive. One of the types of machines that makes this easier than ever is called the Thinning Expert, which can maneuver dense forest regions without causing any damage, and then can quickly remove the target trees before moving on to the next. One of the market leaders right now is the Komatsu 901TX, and it's been designed from the ground up to be as productive and low impact as possible. Fitted with a powerful 204 horsepower engine, its crane is able to generate a huge amount of lift, while at the same time leaving a low impact on the forest floor as it's passing over. With various wheel options and configurations on offer, the 901TX can be further adapted to the specific conditions that it's working in, and not only removes the trees on site, but can cut them into manageable pieces that can be removed from the area, again with as little effect on the environment as possible. Number 14, Water Master. In an ideal world, all work sites would be dry and easy to access, but this of course isn't the reality, and each construction project faces its own unique set of challenges. Working in water is one of the trickiest, but also one of the most necessary, whether it be dredging rivers or canals to allow access for larger ships, or to take and drive in piles to act as the support platform for new structures. It can be difficult and time-consuming work unless you have a specialized machine for the task, and that's exactly what the Watermaster has been designed to do. It's a multi-purpose amphibious dredger, which can operate in depths of up to 20 feet. It's capable of moving directly from dry land into water. It's fitted with a submersible cutter pump with interchangeable cutters, four stabilizers to hold it firmly in position, and a number of different optional attachments, such as a bucket with teeth a clamshell bucket, a rake, or a vibratory piling tool. The Watermaster is therefore a multi-functioning machine that can perform virtually anything you need it to do in shallow waters, and has become an indispensable tool for restoring waterways, laying the foundations for construction projects, maintenance, and cleaning the environment. Number 13, SVM 1000. Railways provide a powerful and cost-effective way to transport cargo and passengers vast distances across land, but one of the prohibitive factors that prevented many countries from developing large rail networks is the amount of time it takes to lay the tracks. Historically, the foundations and rails would have all been laboriously laid by hand, something that was often done around the world with slave or forced labor, and more recently, very low-paid workers but now there's a machine that's able to do the task in a far less controversial way. Known as the SVM-1000, it can do every part of the railway building process, with only a few people needed to oversee operations. Mounted on wheels itself, it rolls along the railway to the edge and begins by smoothing the land and placing the material that acts as the foundation. It'll then compress this as flat as possible, then lift a section of track into place before securing it. One of the genius things about the design is that the SVM-1000 carries all of the material needed on itself, and the weight of the machine as it passes over helps to ensure the newly laid track is firmly set. And similar ones can be seen across China, where they've been credited with increasing the speed at which railways are being built by as much as 10 times. Number 12, Circular Weaving Machine. Weaving machines have for a long time been used to create fabrics and rugs far more quickly than is possible by hand, and were some of the first devices to be designed at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. Designs have of course improved substantially since then, and are available in a variety of types and configurations depending on what's needed. One of the more unusual and unexpected types that you'll ever see is a circular weaving machine that instead of making material that's designed to be cut to shape as needed, produces a circular tube of material that can be used in a range of ways, such as providing a soft protective layer to pipes, 
or speed up the process of making certain stretchy clothing fabrics. This one, known as the Jaiko 4, is able to produce endless tubular or flat fabric with its four shuttles and an overall speed of 180 rotations per minute. There's a complicated network of thread rolls that feed into the weaver, and this one's able to produce the final product far faster than anything else that's available right now. Number 11. Road Zipper Have you ever driven along a highway and wondered how the temporary concrete lane dividers are put in place? They certainly look extremely heavy, but are only there during rush hour or when maintenance work is being carried out, which begs the question of how road workers are able to install, move, or remove them so quickly. The answer is a machine called a road zipper, or a barrier transfer machine. First developed in the mid-1980s, the vehicles are made up of an S-shaped conveyor channel on the underneath that in a similar way to a zipper on clothes is able to lift up a barrier piece that can weigh as much as 1,000 pounds and put it back down where it's needed. This can simply be a case of moving it to the other side of a lane or putting it on a support vehicle to be moved somewhere else entirely. While this may seem like a huge amount of effort when a smaller barrier would be easier, the benefit of the concrete blocks is that they provide a solid barrier that's much more effective at preventing traffic from entering a lane that's traveling in the opposite direction. Seeing one of these in action is amazing, especially in time-lapse, because it seems as if they effortlessly travel along the road while they unzip it. Number 10. Terex RH400 Mining on a commercial scale requires hugely powerful machines to remove and handle the vast quantities of materials and debris needed to be sifted through in search of valuable product. And one of the most impressive machines designed for this task is the Terex RH400. It's the largest hydraulic shovel available, and on its own weighs a whopping 1,078 tons. The shovel on its arm weighs 80 tons itself, and in each scoop it's able to lift up to 85 tons of material, meaning it only needs to do this three or four times to completely fill a standard size mining truck. With the ability to move up to 9,900 tons per hour, there's some serious engineering behind this beastly machine. The hydraulic system that makes this possible contains 3,400 gallons of fluid and it's connected to several heating systems throughout to ensure that it can operate in cold temperatures. Measuring 36 feet long, 28 feet wide, it's able to operate in virtually any conditions and can amazingly be used 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's powered by two 16-cylinder engines that produce 4,400 horsepower at 1,800 rotations per minute. There's very little that the RH400 can't dig through, and it's amazing to watch it in action. Number 9. Gyratory Crusher In mines, it's one thing to remove the rock that contains the valuable material within it, but it's another thing to entirely extract it from the rock fragments, and that's where a gyratory crusher comes in. These machines are designed to crush pieces of rock into even smaller particles that can then be sifted through. Crushers like these are made up of a concave surface and a conical head, each of which are usually lined with strong surfaces, such as manganese steel. The conical head moves in a slightly circular way without actually spinning, and this gives it an erratic path of movement that presses up against the concave surface. Any rock that's in between the two will be ground down until it's small enough to fall out through the exit hole, and they'll be used for either primary or secondary crushing, depending on the particular material that's being handled. It's surprising how much force can be generated with machines like these, and they're able to crush virtually anything that's dug up. By adjusting the torque and the size of the exit holes, mine operators can use them to specifically target particular fragment sizes, and therefore ensure that the valuable material is extracted as carefully as possible. Number 8. Gyro Track 140 Sometimes there's no avoiding the fact that trees simply have to be moved out of the way due to a construction project that's about to begin or because they're causing damage to other structures. And rather than spending a long time cutting them down, the Gyro Track 140 can do the job in minutes. It's a steel track mulching machine that proudly uses less weight and less fuel to complete the same task as the nearest competition, and as a result does this with lower ground pressure, so the impact on the surroundings is lessened and the resulting mulch is finer and easier to use. 
The reason this is possible is because GyroTrack uses planar teeth on its cutter, which shred through the wood in an instant, and cuts each piece to a similar size without the risk of being jammed like you get with a flail-type blade. After taking the main part of the tree down in the first place, the cutting drum is positioned so all the operator needs to do is drive back and forth, and it will wear down the stump of the tree, as well as carving the trunk and branches into tiny pieces too. It's both fun to use and to watch, but the company quite rightfully goes to lengths to remind operators that it should only be used sparingly on sustainably replaceable species of trees. Number 7. Event Cleaner We've all been to large events, whether they be festivals, celebrations, or protests, and seen the huge amount of trash that's left in the fields or streets after the crowds have moved away. It could be quite shocking at first, and then you're left wondering how it'll all be cleaned up. And the truth is that this was a job left to cleaners doing it by hand, or that the garbage would simply be left there. There's a company from the Netherlands that has created an effective solution to this problem, and are aiming to drastically reduce the pollution footprint of events like these. Known simply as the Event Cleaner, the vehicle is fitted with two large suction hoses that are connected to the cleaning head and lead to the storage bucket at the rear. All the driver has to do is move around the site, and the hoses will do the rest. Creating a powerful vacuum, they're able to pick up objects of virtually any size and weight and work on grass, gravel, or concrete, even if it's wet. Amazingly, very little is left behind, and the event cleaner is able to cover vast distances over uneven ground in hardly any time at all. With machines like this now available, there's simply no excuse for large events failing to clean up afterwards. Now, there's something undeniably satisfying about watching them do so. Number 6. Komatsu Blast Hole Drill Mining companies have to devise and develop a large range of techniques to allow them to retrieve the precious rocks that lie in the ground beneath us. When the veins are close to the surface, an excavator is probably the best bet, but when it's far deeper, powerful drills are needed to bore holes to give access. One of the most effective options is a blast hole drill, and recently Komatsu has announced a new range that is more efficient than ever before. The PH77XR has a bit loading of 38 and a half tons and is designed to be able to adapt to different ground conditions. It can be used for rotary tricone drilling or percussive hammer drilling, and it also features an auto bit changing system, so there's very little downtime when a bit breaks. The maximum diameter hole it can dig is just under 11 inches, and it can dig up to 55 feet deep in one pass. It's powered by a Cummins diesel engine, which produces over a thousand horsepower. The rotary head has 208 horsepower and can spin at up to 200 rotations per minute at 5,500 pound-feet of torque. Combined with cameras and sensors that monitor every movement and metric of performance as the drill is operating, this is the most powerful, efficient, and effective mining drill in use around the world today. Number 5. HPW Dust Construction work and just everyday life creates huge amounts of debris and dust, and most of the time it's completely infeasible to clean up everything that's released. If you think of the last time you saw a street cleaner in action, it would have only been able to pick up the larger pieces and left a cloud of fine particle dust behind it that eventually settles on the ground again. With the HPW Dust High Pressure Dust Suppression System, however, cleanup is now more effective than ever before. It can be added to a variety of different machines and uses a water mist to contain the dust. On work sites, it's used at the point where the dust is being originally created to lock it into a sludge on the ground, whereas with street cleaners, it's used to trap the dust before it's thrown up into the air and can then be subsequently cleared up. It makes other machines perform far better and results in cleaner environments and air, which are visibly cleaner after the work is finished than they would have been before. It's innovations like these that will have the biggest impact on air quality in our communities going forwards, and it's great to watch in action. Number 4. Vortzilla RT Flex 96C Every time you buy a car, you probably spend a lot of time understanding the engine and how powerful it'll be, but nothing can prepare you for how huge and impressive the largest engine in the world is, the Vortzilla RT Flex 96C. Built in Finland, this diesel engine was designed to power the Emma Maersk, a cargo ship that carries 11,000 shipping containers and can achieve a top speed of 31 knots, 
which is a third faster than other ships in its class. To do this, the engine is the most efficient of its kind, and the stats are almost unbelievable. It weighs 2,300 tons, is 44 feet tall and 90 feet long, which makes it larger than a four-story building. The 14 cylinders each burn 6.5 ounces of diesel fuel during a single cycle, and this results in an output of more than 107,000 horsepower and more than 7 million newton meters of torque, and would be enough to power a small town. It's an incredible feat of engineering. Further ships are planned to use them in the future. Compared to other engines, the journey time between China and the U.S. is cut by as much as four days, which has a major impact on worldwide trade. Number three, New Holland CR-1090 Combine Harvester. Released in 2014, the New Holland CR-1090 Combine Harvester immediately became the biggest and most powerful one available, and it's still up there as one of the most cost-efficient and time-saving ways to harvest large quantities of grain. It's powered by a 653 horsepower, 16 liter Cursor turbo diesel engine, and its 340 gallon fuel tank means it can work for an entire day before needing to refuel. On board, it has a 410 bushel grain tank, and the ability to offload this at four bushels per second through its 34 foot long auger, which the company says means that productivity is increased by 15%, and less than 0.2% of the harvested grain is cracked. It's also extremely easy to operate, with all elements being controlled from a color touchscreen in the cab, and a multifunction joystick can be used to fine-tune the speed. Also featuring high-intensity discharge lights and LEDs, this combine's as effective during the night as it is the day and truly allows a farm to operate 24-7. From starting with a field full of produce, it's amazing to see this combine as it passes by and clears out everything in its path showing in one place both the power of human ingenuity and the reliance that we still have on nature. Number two, Hausler VRM Type Steel Bending Machine. Steel is one of the most useful materials for construction because of how tough and resilient it is, but have you ever wondered how it's produced in the shapes needed before being used? Rather than using molds to form it in every shape conceivable, which simply wouldn't be cost-effective, manufacturers instead use steel bending machines that have to be incredibly powerful to be able to perform the job properly, but also in a way that doesn't jeopardize the traits of the steel that are needed in the first place. The Hausler VRM Type Steel Bending Machine is a great example of this, and is described by the company as being a universally usable four-roller bending machine with linear hydraulic movement of side and bottom rolls. What this essentially means is that the machine has four articulation points within it that steel can be bent over, so when you put a flat piece into it, you can form virtually any shape you need. This includes the ability to pre-bend sheet edges, the creation of cylindrical shapes from flat sheets, the formation of cones, and being able to form shapes with uneven dimensions. With laser sights and measurements, the machine enables precision designs to be created, and all of the actual bending is done by a combination of a little heat to make the steel more malleable, and sheer hydraulic strength to push it into the desired position. Number one, Bagger 293. The Bagger 293 was built in 1995 by Tuckraff, a German company, and it's a bucket wheel excavator. It was designed for use in a brown coal mine near the German town of Humbach and is the largest machine to have ever been built. At 738 feet long, 151 feet wide, and 314 feet high, it's bigger than the Statue of Liberty, weighing a total of 14,200 tons Possibly the most surprising thing about the Bagger 293 is that it only takes five people to operate. The machine uses 12 Caterpillar tracks to move around at a maximum speed of 33 feet per minute. And all of this is to enable it to remove coal from the earth at an astonishing rate. Its main feature is the 70-foot diameter rotating wheel, which has 18 buckets topped with sharp steel teeth. Each of these can hold 529 cubic feet of soil, and the entire machine, when operated at full capacity, is capable of moving 8.5 million cubic feet of material in a single day. It consumes a huge amount of energy to function and doesn't have any engines or generators built into it. Instead, it relies on an external source that provides the 16.5 megawatts that it needs. 
it's one of a series of huge bucket wheel excavators that are used around the world and their sheer impact on their surroundings is almost unimaginable. Tearing into the ground, they remove miles and miles worth of material each week and permanently change the environment in the process. There's something quite daunting about watching them in action and the ease at which they cause destruction on such a huge scale. Watch our Machines playlist for more top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best machine videos.